In this video, I'm going to show you how to backtest any option strategy in Thinkorswim. I'll show you how to best use this extremely powerful feature, so by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what type of trade to make in any type of market situation. All right, let's get into it. Before we get into the backtest thing, I want to talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of using the uh, Thinkorswim backtest tool. One of the main advantages is that it's free, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory, but it's pretty important because backtesting tools could be pretty expensive. Another advantage is that you can go through each trade daily and see what you would have done in actual, like, real life trading situation. Most backtesting programs, you like press a button and it does a backtest over like five years of a particular strategy. You could say, you know, I would have got out at 50% profit, but you know, you don't really get to see what's going on in actual trading. So you don't know what you would have done in a particular situation is so let's say you were down 50% or something. And you know, if you just press a button and back test for five years, you could say, you know, I would have, I would have done the right thing. I would have held through that and waited for it to rebound. But in, in real life trading, maybe you wouldn't have. It's sometimes it's kind of hard when you're staring at a 50% loss to just sit there and do nothing. That's why I think the, the thinkorswim backtesting is very realistic and I actually like it. And another advantage is you can compare multiple option strategies at the same exact time, which is pretty cool. And now for the disadvantages, uh, the main one is you can't automatically backtest any option strategy for a long period of time. You have to do each one manually. So, you know, it's a pretty big drawback. So that's uh, something to be aware of. And another one is that it doesn't automatically calculate your returns for you. So you kind of got to do that yourself and just see which option strategy is the most successful. It's pretty easy to do, but you know, if you want to get like exact numbers, you're going to have to do the calculations yourself. And now let's actually get into doing some back tests. So how best to use this back test tool is to do some sort of technical analysis trigger on when you want to uh, execute a trade. So I'm going to do it on the QQQ here. And since we're, since we're going to be manually entering these back tests, it's nice to have a trigger of when to enter and when to exit, because that's more realistic. Like that's how you probably enter in real life and exit in real life. So I got the QQQ one year chart here and I'm going to go to studies, add study. I'm just going to do a simple uh, moving average crossover. That's going to be our entry. So go to add studies, then go to moving averages and then down here, moving average two lines and let's see what the settings are here. 918 simple moving average. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's use the default. So we're going to say like right here, the nine is crossing up over the 18. So we would enter here and then we would do a 30 day option. So, you know, at some point we would close the option if it hasn't um, crossed over, crossed the uh, back under yet. This is our exit signal. But if our, you know, if our options expiring, we'll get out, you know, early before the signal. But if the, if the signal crosses back under, we'll get out then. So we have one entry and two exits. The entry is the crossover and the exit is either if the option's expiring or if it's a uh, crossing under. So now let's go into the think back feature. That's where we do the actual back testing. And you find that under the analyze tab and then think back. So for these back tests, we're going to be doing three different scenarios. We're going to be doing right here when uh, the nine crosses above the 18. So we're going to do bullish trades here. And then we're also going to do some bearish trades here when it crosses back under the 18. And we're gonna do a third set right here, where this is clearly in an uptrend, this is clearly in a downtrend, but we're gonna do one here where you know, you're getting a bullish signal, but then it turns out to be, you know, would have been crappy trades all around. So it's just really choppy. So we're gonna do ones there and see which option strategy, you know, performed the least bad in this situation. Okay, so we have three different scenarios, uptrend, downtrend, and choppy. Okay, so the, uh, the dates for the uptrend are, uh, 7 1 2022 to 8 25 2022. So when we go to analyze, what you do here is you set the date for when the trigger happens, so the starting date. So we will set this one to 7 1 2022. Okay, now we type in our symbol QQQ. All right, let me move this down. Okay, and now we pick an option strategy. Um, and first got to pick a date. You know, these signals are usually like at least 30 days long. So I'm going to pick about a 30 day and I'm going to do monthlies because you know, they're just a lot more volume and I just like trading monthlies. So I'm going to go all the way out to 49 days. All right. So let me give a little more strikes here. Let me do like 30. Okay. So since this is bullish, we are going to do a bull put spread and we're going to do a uh, a bull call spread and then we're just gonna buy some long long calls and see how it goes okay so let's do the bull put spread first I'll do right here 280 and the 275 
Okay. And for the bull call spread, I'll do the 280 right here. Let's go right here. I'll right click, put buy vertical. Okay. And I'll pick the 280 and the 285. That's fine. Okay. And now I'm just going to buy some long calls. And let me go. Let me see Delta here. Okay. I'll buy some far in the money ones uh, right here. And I'll go at, at the money. Then I'll go out of the money. Okay. So now I want just so it's like a, an apples to apples comparison. I want to make it so each one of these is like a $2,000 bet or something. So this is a five point uh, wide spread. So we would have to do four contracts of this. Okay. And this one right here, that's with a, with a credit spread to find out how much, you, you know, you're risking. You pretty much do the, the width of it and then, you know, subtract it from the credit you receive. But we're just to make it easier. We're just going to do the width of it. And to get to 2000, you know, you have to have four contracts. And for the debit spread, the risk is actually the, uh, the debit you paid for it. So this we paid, you know, 282. So we'd probably do about eight contracts or something to get to 2000 risk. And for each one of these, this one is already 2100. So we're leaving that one as is 1300. Uh, maybe we can go to two contracts, but that's a little over our risk actually. And for this one, we could do two contracts. This one, we might go down to one. Actually, I don't know. That's up to you. So now in, in order to see how these are performing, what you'd want to do is just go to this calendar under here, under the PL date for back trades. This is where you can actually like just go through daily and see how these are performing. So I like to go just, you know, not daily because that'll take forever. I just like to go like per week. Like right now, when we started this back test, it was uh, 7 one So we will now we'll go to 7 8 and see how this is performing. And you go to PL open over here. So you can see the credit spreads doing okay. Debit spreads doing really well. And the long calls, the out of the money long calls doing the best. And now let's go up another week. So the 15th. All right. So now things are coming down a little. So on the chart, you know, obviously the QQQs are falling a little and you see, you know, these are still holding up and we'll go up another week. 722. All right. So now you see everything's doing pretty well right here. And the out of the money call is doing the best. And how much time do we have left in this option it expires on 819. So we still have, you know, like three weeks left. Okay. So now you see things are starting to get interesting. If you go all the way down here to the long call, like you're up $3,400. So, you know, at this point, you might want to consider just closing this out right here. Any of these, you could just close these out. This would be a good profit right here. And you still got plenty of time left in the trade. See, this is why I like, you know, going through each one of these by like a week at a time, as opposed to just seeing a final result, because, you know, if this were happening to you in real life, would you be able to just sit through this and, you know, watch these profits and not close your trade? I would probably just close the trade right here and take my profits and move on to the next thing. But you know, if you're actually just pressing a button and doing a back test over a whole bunch of trades, you miss times like this where you could have gotten out at a great profit, but you know, who knows? Cause the next day, you know, judging from the chart, we know that it keeps going up, but you don't know that in real time, you know, that it could have easily gone back down again and you would have lost out on these profits, but we'll see how it goes. Let's say we're holding in another week. I would have personally closed it out, but that's up to each uh, trader. Okay. So here, you know, Everything is doing really well. You could have closed out any of these and be uh, be very happy. Have great returns right here. We still have two more weeks till expiration. So we'll go one more week. And you see this out of the money long call is just killing it right here of 6,000. That's crazy. But you know, all of these trades are doing what they're supposed to do. They're all doing really well and they, ex they perform how you expect them to perform. The credit spread, you know, it gives you some downside protection, but it obviously doesn't have the, you know, the upside potential as all these other ones. So, you know, you're paying for that downside protection. All right. And here's the moment of truth. I'm going to go to expiration day, 826. And you see, you know, things kind of settle down a little. 
you could have gotten out a lot earlier and saved yourself some grief, but these were all good trades at the end. So, you know, this is expiration day, so you would obviously close them all today. And that's it for the uptrends. Now let's uh, try some downtrend trades. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of these real quick. And we'll go to the chart. And you see the downtrend right here is from 8.25 to uh, 10.25. So we're gonna keep that in mind. We're gonna do month long options. So, you know, this exit signal, we're not gonna hit. We're just gonna get out of our option, you know, at the expiration or earlier. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna get in on 8.25. So we set this up here to 8.25. All right. Now we look for, you know, the closest monthly. And 22 days, uh, this might work. So now since we're doing bearish trades, we are going to do bear call spread, a bear put spread, and we're just gonna buy some puts. So I'm going to start with the, uh, the bear call spread. And I'll like go to maybe here, 325, then 330. Okay, now the bear put spread, let's see here. To buy vertical to 323. Okay, now we're just gonna buy some puts. We're gonna buy a deep in the money one. Okay, we're gonna buy an at the money one. We're gonna buy an out of the money one. And we're gonna make them all about a $2,000 risk. So we'll go to four contracts again here. And this one right here, the debit is so 10 contracts will be fine. And for this one right here, 14, I'm just going to leave one contract there. For this one, we'll do two contracts. For this one, we could do maybe four contracts. So now we're just going to do what we did last time and just cycle through week by week and see how it goes. And, you know, take off our trades accordingly. So right now it's 825. So we're going to go to the next week up. 9-2. Okay. So how are these doing? You know, these are all doing extremely well. I would literally just close all of these right now. After the first week, why not? You know, this would be amazing returns. Like annualized, like these would be amazing returns. I would just close these right now, but we'll see how these go. So just bear in mind that, you know, doing back testing this way gives you the opportunity to, un to, to understand, okay, you know, I definitely would have closed these after the first week. So everything else after that is kind of a moot point, but we're just going to go through it, you know, as an exercise to see what would have happened, but I would have gotten out right now. And you see, things are starting to go away from you. And right now you'd be kicking yourself if this were real life. So that's why I sometimes just like to get out early with a profit, go on to the next thing. <laughs> but then look at this, the third week things go right back up again. So, you know, the market's crazy, crazy place. You never know. And then go to the next week. And uh, when did these expire? Oh, this is actually expiration day right here. This was the week before expiration where things weren't looking so great again. And then here's actually expiration day. So you'd close them today and you actually close all these for, you know, a really good profit. So, you know, this would have been a very, all of these would have been very successful uh, bear trades. And again, in, a pure uptrend or a pure downtrend, you know, the out of the money option does the best pretty much. <laughs> so just like with the uptrend, when you're looking at a downtrend, you know, the credit spread is going to perform the worst because, you know, you're giving yourself some protection, but, you know, you're losing out on the huge downtrend where these other ones capitalize on the downtrend more with the out of the money capitalizing on it the most. So that's something to think about. But you, you know, we might get some different results on the next one when we do the more, you know, choppy market. So let's uh, check that out now. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of these real quick. And go to the charts and you see the choppy uh, signals are right here from uh, 1025 to 117. So this is actually less than a month. So we will actually be getting uh, in here and actually using this exit signal to get out on 117. So because we want it to simulate just like, you know, as real life as possible. And that's what I would do. If I was using these signals, I would actually get out when they told me to get out. So let me go to 1025. All right, now look for the uh, monthly options. Uh, this one right here, 24 days away, it's fine. And since this is a bullish signal, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do bull puts, a bull call spread, and just buying some calls. So let me do bull puts first, probably 
probably do this one maybe. Then there we go. Now do a bull call spread, buy vertical. Do maybe 287, 283. With the bull call spreads, I just like to pretty much straddle the at the money, you know, go a couple in and a couple out. That's how I like to do the uh, bull call spreads. And I'm just going to buy some calls here. I'm going to go deep in the money, go here, go at the money, and go out of the money. All right. Now I'll try to make them equal around 2,000. Uh, this one, two, four again. And this one right here, debit is 200 so I'll do 10. okay this one's 1400 i'll keep that where it is this one i'll do two and this one i'll do three okay and now like we said the uh the exit is actually 11 7. so we're just going to go up until we hit that time 11 so we'll go to the end of the week here see how it's going 10 28. so right now things are starting to go negative the credit spread's holding up a little. So let's go one more week out. Here we go. 11.4. So things are starting to go down a lot now. And you know, the trades, are, the trade's getting away from us here. And the signal's about to come, but it hasn't come yet. So we're gonna keep going till we get to 11.7. This is when the signal is. I'll go to the next month here. Right here, this is when the signal comes. And you see, you know, the credit spread held up the best. It was still a loser, but you know, it did a lot better than all these other ones. Like the out of the money call just got killed right here, down 1700. So this is where the extra protection of, uh, you know, credit spreads come in handy. In times like this, when trades go against you like this, you know, you give yourself some protection and you lose a lot less. Like these, these uh, out of the money calls just get killed in this type of situation. So that's something to think about. So this is where I would get out of these trades right now because the signal happened. And that's pretty much it for this set of uh, choppy trades. As you can see, not all uh, trades can be winners. So I hope this video gave you some good ideas for figuring out which option strategies you might want to use when one of your technical signals triggers. This thinkorswim backtest feature is very powerful and now you should be ready to test all of your own ideas. And if you want to see more dividends and options income content just like this, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Talk to you in the next one.